Best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov, and today is the second day of June 2019. We are in Kiev, and today we are continuing to show this interesting show about this very nice monster which is sitting here on my finger and just licking the honey. And who is that? If you are interested, so follow this video and we will tell the story about this very nice monster which is actually alive and moving with his legs. But actually this is very special wasp, wasp of the family Scolide. This is Scolia moth or mammoth, not a moth, wasp, but mammoth wasp. And we see here the head with very big mandibulas. Mandibula, these are mandibula. Yeah, these are mandibula and this is proboscis. And proboscis with very special structure. Yeah, you see, this is like a tube and on the top very tiny, tiny, like small strings. Yes, so they are moving. They are just helping to suck the honey because honey is not so liquid, it's like a jelly. So these are two big mandibula, this is antenna, this big antenna, this is the head of this monster and the size about four centimeters. So I increase magnification, camera is stable, my finger is just shaking a little bit. Just to show you the better position, yes, this is the process of licking honey. Yeah, you see how it is funny. Yeah, yeah, something inside, like three small strings were moving inside the tube. Then tube is a propos proboscis and help it to sink, to lick just a honey liquid just inside. And actually you see how big head, how big these legs, yeah, sometimes becoming more active, yes. Uh, you see, you see, you see. You see, this is a content. And if I turn around, so you see hairy legs. Hairy legs with some horns. Especially, I love very much this horn on the first tibia. You see, this is very special. This is horn used for cleaning antenna. Yeah, this is special attachment. Very important because cleaning for Hymenoptera, for wasp, and for parasitic wasp, for predaceous wasp, is a very, very important process. After feeding, females should be cleaning the body. <coughs> and actually, who, who is this monster? So you can recognize the size of this head about, mm, I will say, seven, six millimeters, seven millimeters. Mandibula about five millimeters. This is again, I show you mandibula. Oh, my stick. Yeah, this to mandibula. And this is a head with some spots on the top. This is eyes compound eyes and here should be three small eyes as well. So you see body hairy and mammoth wasp is very nice because it's belonging family Scoliidae and this is Megascolia maculata. Megascolia maculata so you can recognize this is Megascolia, a little bit smaller. Yeah because she's big, less of course than my finger but still big enough. And maculata because here well, you can count one, two, three, four, four spots here on the body. Four spots on the body. And they're very nice and very well visible. Actually, this is a female because female is easily recognizable from the male, not because of a <coughs> ovipositor, but also because these 
orange colored head. If I would have males, but today I don't have males to show you uh, active. You see, head is orange brown, very colorful and very big. But male of this species, Megascolia maculata, has just black colored head, black head. But this one is female. I do not afraid this Megascolia because actually this Megascolia is not very aggressive. Not very aggressive because this is considered as a solitary bee, solitary wasp, which is not making social nest because she is living one by one, one female separately from another and do not make social nest like social bees and social wasps. So the most important task in the life of this, as we say, for this wasp is to find host because this is parasitic wasp despite it is big you see one two three about three four centimeters all together she must parasitize attack and parasitize larva of scarabide beetle like a rhinoceros beetle or some other beetles of a family scarabide which are actually inhabiting some wood underground or maybe some places with rotten wood, destroyed, de deteriorating wood underground. So that's why they're very often flying around just cut it parts of trees like stems, cut it stems of trees and they are searching for larvae. Usually many males flying around, so that's why people are thinking that they are making a nest. But males were just only flying around searching for female. But female is not very common, usually one female on 15-20 males. So quite rare, that's why usually near stems of old trees you can see males and the males are produced from unfertilized eggs so this is just a rule for hymenoptera wasp the same as a female is produced from fertilized egg oh. she's becoming more active and happy after feeding because I gave her just more water a little bit in captivity because I found it on the ground and put it in my jar to show you under this microscope under the zoom of my camera because I do remember that feeding of this monster is really a very pleasant and interesting situation and very nice to show on video camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm becoming a little bit more active. I'll... Yeah, I give a little bit water, water with honey. What is also very important for feeding bees and wasps. You see, she is very happy. So this is this was with here, like a tiny, tiny dog. I would say a tiny tiger. You can consider if you're afraid of them. So because this tiger has here not only two mandibulas but also has a sting on the top. Here this this is a place with a sting. So that's why do not touch and do not press on the bottom because she can sting actually 
Megascola is stinging not very strongly, fortunately. Fortunately, and I know this is as a rule that she is stinging not very strongly. That's why I even collected this very big wasp just with my hands. Yes, not with the tube, you do not believe, but yes, I collected this lady just with my fingers and she was stinging me to be honest yeah but I was very persistent yeah and very strong to catch it so that's why after two three times she stung me it was not very painful it was not very painful but nevertheless not pleasant that's why do not try to collect this nice wasp with a finger. This is only method for devoted and well-known entomologist who know how to deal with insects and how to prevent them from stinging. So that's a short story about this nice wasp. I hope so it was interesting for you. You were surprised to see this big monster under the high magnification because it looks like a real monster, very hairy, with nice hairy legs, hairy body, nice blackish wings and four yellow spots on abdomen. And this is Megascolia maculata. Thank you for watching. Press likes for my efforts, subscribe to my channel and write your comments under this video if you have seen in the beginning of summer. Oh yes, she showed her sting. Yes, on the top of her body. Don't forget, she can sting. That's why be careful. Because different people have a different acceptance for poison yes and it can be dangerous for some people thank you for watching press likes for me as I said and for Megascola Maculata see you soon on my channel bye bye because I need to write to record another video in other language in Russian bye bye